Hey everybody, Winstreak here. We got a question from the Kinks. They are looking to essentially start a wave of monsters once they're all killed. Have that trigger the next wave of monsters. Uh, so without further ado, we'll hop into a new project. And I will go ahead and start off with some sprites. And we're going to set first monster as a little blue square. And then a second monster as a slightly bigger, darker square, so we can tell the difference. And I will need mouse click and a text box. And that should be everything. I'm going to move these guys off to the side and hop into my events. And first things first, I will start in every tick, and we're going to set the text to say how many monsters there are. So we will say enemies, and we'll need a variable that holds that. So we have an enemies variable, and we will set that to show that enemies variable every tick, so it's always up to date. And then we'll go ahead and unstart a layout. And we're going to create some, let me name these real quick. we got level 1 enemy, level 2 enemy. Alright, and on start a layout, add sub event blank, and we'll fill it in with a repeat. And we'll say 10 times. And we'll just go ahead and create an object for our level 1 enemies. And we want those to be, um, we'll throw them in the bottom right. So random, 500 to 800. And then random, uh, 300 to 4 ish, 450. That should be good. That should just create them uh, semi spread out in the bottom right corner for us. And then on my mouse click on object, level 1 enemy, I will destroy that enemy. That way I can kill them all and go to the next level. And I'm going to make another one real quick since it's the same code for level 2 enemy. And we'll also be able to destroy those. And then we will need to keep track of how many enemies we have on the map. So. Um, we'll do an every tick, and we're going to go ahead and set that variable to zero. And then, in order to get out of this, we're going to add up all the other ones on, uh, on screen. And here, let me go ahead and write it first. So we'll add a blank sub-event, and then for each and enemy one add blank sub event actually I don't want a sub event I want another one on the same level and we want to make sure that enemy is on screen mm. one is on screen there it is and we'll go ahead and add one to enemy. So essentially every tick it'll set this to zero, but then it doesn't do anything with this zero until it finishes this block here. And that's going to go around and count every enemy. And if they're on screen, we'll add one. Um, so we can go ahead and run this and it pops up. We got 10 and they're all scattered along there. Technically that is a little faster. We do have the one off screen. Now it won't count him. It will be for every enemy that is on screen. So I think that's slightly better for performance, but that doesn't truly matter, especially since we just have the one. Um, and then we can do the same thing for the level two enemies. So I just copied that code and I'm just going to change everything where it's enemy level one to enemy level two. And 
can do it again and we can still see that there's 10 enemies and as I click them they go away and now we're at zero so now we just need code for when we're at zero enemies and every tech if our variable is equal to or less than because why not just in case it gets below zero this will also catch it um, actually I don't need that every tick um, let me go ahead and pull this out get rid of that if enemies ever goes below t uh, zero or equal to zero add a blank sub event and we're gonna do the same thing we already did up here but for level two enemies so I'm just gonna copy this save myself a little time but we'll change this to level two and we'll also change where they spawn we'll kinda put them on the bottom middle and now we can see we got 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 boom and then it spawns these guys for us so you can do this as many times as you want obviously you'll have to write in more code mine just checks at 0 for no more enemies if I wanted to do level 3 ones I could add that as well um, or we can do a check if level 2 enemy is killed stop spawning them uh, altogether if you want to end to your game but that should be able to get you started hopefully it helps have a good one